Good Merry Christmas everyone, this is Royce Miller coming back at you with yet another subscriber special. 3,000 subscribers, now it's 3,400, close to 3,500, maybe, I don't know. This is going to come out on Christmas Eve. Um, so yeah, I'm making beef burgundy. Why am I calling it beef burgundy? Well, because I'm American. I never took French. Beef bourguignon is beyond my speaking power for very much, especially when I'm already losing my voice a bit. So I'm just going to call it beef burgundy. I'm preheating the oven to 400 degrees, but first we got to get our mirepoix. I have here an onion. This is one of the only things I didn't cheat on. Why why do I have paper towels on my on my uh cutting board? Because I it was dirty and I didn't know how to wash it. Like how do you wash wood? It absorbs water. Also my cousin made this in shop class, so I don't exactly trust it. Give this a couple rough chops. Now I purposely got a sweet onion. My mom usually gets yellow onions. I don't know if they're very different. Yeah, ooh. -ee. Whew, it smells Funky. I don't chop raw onion very much. I'm kind of doing this off by memory because, like, I'm... The thing I use to research recipes is here. Now, I may pause on occasion to go check the recipe. But... Like, you know, you, you don't need to be too, you don't need to be too precious with this, because this is just, you know, this is you doing stuff that you can, you know, this is me just trying to emulate Julia Child by way of Binging with Babish, because that's where I first saw this recipe, was on a cooking YouTube show called Binging with Babish. I used to watch it a bunch. I unsubscribed after he took money from Warner Brothers. It's a long story. Uh, hold on one second. I need to get a garbage bag. <coughs> If there's one thing Colette taught me in Ratatouille, keep your workstation clean or she will kill me. Maybe I should have cut that lengthwise first. Let's find out. From what I saw in this video, you didn't need to be too precious about it. You, you could, you know, rough chopping is fine. Oh, okay, so let's try lengthwise with this one. Yeah, that's already feeling a lot better. Dang it. Okay. Now to get on to where I cheated. Well, actually here, I better do this too.
Da, 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 da. Joyful and triumphant. O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, O the King of Angels. Sorry. I was watching Plan to Eradicate Christmas before this. What is Plan to Eradicate Christmas, I pretend to hear you ask? That is the Team Four Star second Christmas special, where they turned a non-Christmas movie, planned to eradicate the Saiyans, and made it into a Christmas movie because they're a bunch of weird goofballs. Fun fact, garlic and onions are actually related, I believe. Come on now, come on. I'm not gonna palm heel strike it. For any mythical kitchen people out there. Because you hurt yourself when you do that. Ooh, that's good. That smells great. Whoops. Get the knife out of there, Roy. Snoopy. Don't hurt yourself. You're basically just splitting it so you get, can get the shell off. You're supposed to get three cloves of garlic. There's one clove. And then we gotta crush it later, but... Well, we gotta crush it right after, but yeah. Second clove. Man, why is garlic so sticky? Does it have like sugar in it? So, yeah, basically, uh, if you need to get the garlic out of its clove, or of its sheath, like, just, just, just give her a couple whacks, you know? Or actually, you know what, like, why don't I just do this then? Handling this garlic clove is reminding me of uh, Shrek, because, like, the way he holds an onion, it looks like garlic clove in his hand. So now I kind of want to sing, I'm on my way from misery to happiness, oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That was made by the, and I would walk 500 miles people. You can kind of tell, because they have body Scottish accents in it. Oh lord, I'm getting garlic paper everywhere. What do you call this? The skins? These, these like weird papery rinds that have grown off the garlic. Fuck it. I said I would cheat. I'm going to cheat as much as I can. And if that means cutting the goddamn thing in half, that's what I'm going to do. Do you see how easy that was? Do you see how easy that was? Now the paper will come right off. I hope. I may have made a gravest mistake.
you know what, it, it says three cloves of garlic, but these are like pretty small cloves. I won't mind if I put a couple more in, right? No, no, we should probably follow the recipe, which means I'm going to get a lot of waste from this, which I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, the oven's ready. Oh, God, my hands are so sticky now. I don't like this at all. You know, we can just wash my hands a little bit. Also, while I'm here, I may as well get a drink of water. Oh, that's nice. Speaking of drinking, we'll get into this boy later. Right now it's time to brown some bacon. Which is weird that there's bacon in this really famous French recipe, but what do I know? So apparently I'm supposed to preheat this with a neutral oil, but I'm just going to not render, I think it's a medium high heat, I'm just going to, I'm just going to render out the bacon. I got about, let's see. A pound and a half here, which I believe is a little more than I need, but we'll make it work. Again, we're shooting from the hip on this one. Like, I got a little more garlic than I need, I got a little more bacon than I need. That, uh, but, you know, you don't want me to recreate the recipe verbatim, do you? That wouldn't be any fun. I'm going to do the best I can while using all my ingredients. And yes, I did cheat. I cheated a lot. I got pre-cut bacon. I'm that kind of asshole. Look, cutting bacon is really hard. It's so fatty. You kind of got to freeze it first before you... Uh, you know, let's break it up a bit. Break me up a piece of that Kit Kat bar. There we go. Oh shoot, I forgot the paper towel on my, my plate here. Da 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 da. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I am all the love of the one for you. Oh, wow, my knife is sticky because of the stupid garlic. No one ever told me garlic would be sticky. Remember, the last time I handled raw garlic was when I ate that clove of it in freshman year of high school. Which was, I remind y'all, 2008. Okay? Obama had just taken office. Well, no, he didn't take office until 2009, technically. Obama had just been dutifully elected by these wonderful people of the United States. 
Dark Knight was one of the best films I'd ever seen, and one of my favorite games of all time, Fallout 3, had just come out. And I wouldn't play it until next year. I, I should have paused for that. I hate farting on cameras. Just one of the worst things I could possibly done. I swear to Christ, if I gave some asshole a boner with that, I hope you have a miserable Christmas. I hope you get nothing but. I, I hope no one you love comes to visit you. Sorry, it's just I'm not fetish content. I'm. Just an asshole who eats food and tries to give his opinion on stuff. So I went to Hy-Vee to get my ingredients because I'm like, Walmart might be a little too cheap, but I don't want to. But like, I don't want to. I, and so I decided to try to get a mixture of quality and quantity. Like, this is pre-salt and peppered bacon. I don't know if you can see it getting rendered. I'm trying to keep the camera away from the heat, you know? And like, I'm probably using the wrong pan because this is a non-stick pan. It's hard to get fond on a non-stick pan. But we'll try. So, um, I'm not going to be answering any of the questions in this piece. This is just going to be me kind of talking into the camera, describing my experience. Because this is going to be a long, long-ass video as is. Without me pausing every couple minutes to look up, look at a questionnaire. The, the questions will come with the eating, which will, which for me will be in a, in a couple hours. But for you guys, we'll be at the end of the, we'll be at, we'll be on Christmas Day tomorrow. You'll wake up and under the tree will be a gift from Santa Claus. Or at least some fat guy who lives in a cold place. Not so cold anymore. Thanks, thanks climate change. I almost said global warming. Like, global warming is what's happening, but because of the ice melting in the Arctic, like, it causes fluctuations in temperature. But, like, right now, you can kind of tell, like, oh, yeah, it's definitely global warming. When it's 44 degrees in December, something's rotten in Denmark. There's a lot of water in this too. I should have probably rendered this. I should maybe I should have only done a half a pound. Oh shit, I forgot to pat my my stew chunks dry. Hold on. I'll give it give this a chance to render out, but um you're supposed to pat these down with paper towels.
and then toss them with salt and pepper. I got two pounds of the stuff. Or three pounds, beg your pardon. I'm going to do it in two batches because I don't want to overcrowd the pan. Which is good that it came in... And again, like, I'm cheating. I am cheating by removing the cutting part. Give me your answer, do. Uh, 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 uh. Goddamn, why am I singing that goddamn shit? Uh, Christmas carols, Christmas carols. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Oh shit! Okay, okay, I think. Let every heart prepare him room. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven, heaven and nature sing. Oh crap, I used the... God damn it, I used the paper towel line plate for the... Ah! Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Put it back there just for a minute. Okay, Royce, what, what carols do you know by heart? Um... Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinner reconciled Joy to all the angels join the triumph of the sky. And hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Well. God damn it, this is going to take a goddamn forever. Well, at least it'll give the water time to render out. Boil out, I guess. Also, I guess there is a little bit of a fawn deforming at the bottom. Ah! Stop, you bastard! Hold on! video. Eh? Eh? My cousin's Black Panther apron. Welcome back, buddy. I should be wearing long sleeves for this shit. Okay. There. And then. 
what we'll do is we'll salt and pepper our beef. Again, like we're okay with letting that get a little toasty because we're trying to get some flavor imparted into that because that's got to be our fond. So, most people use a Dutch oven for this stuff, but I'm just going to use a, 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 a roasting pan because... Oh, hold on. Where did I put that pan? Oh, there it is. There it is. Still a little wet, but that's okay. It will cook off when I'm roasting the... Uh, Roasting the beef. All right. We'll let that get in a little bit. And then we will get the next bit of beef ready. Showed off the red nose reindeer and her among you know Dasher and Lancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the red nose reindeer had her shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer, you slap and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Oh, Lord. Well, I fucked up. There's still too much water in that beef. Oh, well, at least I got a little bit of my art reaction. Right now it's just bacon fat and beef. So, you know, it's not the it's not the most um It's so it's not the, you know, it's not the most like exotic sense in the world. It's just like really good hearty beef <laughs> cooking in bacon fat. Like this is something my dad would do for a for like a really good um just like stir fry, I guess.
Just cooking this off. Just cooking this off. So, like, when Binging with Babish originally made this, he was apparently aping uh, from Julie to Julia. He was doing the film from Julie to Julia. Which, I... I am not a fan of, from what I've seen, because Lindsay Ellis also showcased that film in her... Uh, and her whole going through all of okay come on now There's a few bacon bits with it as of yet, but that's okay. We still got a little bit of a Maillard reaction, which is where uh, you get like little crispy burn bits on your beef. I'm going to try to uh, strain this while I'm waiting for all this water to get out. Now, they're supposed to be one to two inch chunks, which again, I kind of messed up by buying by cheating. But again, like, this is, this isn't, this isn't me doing the recipe verbatim. I've never done a recipe verbatim. That would be ridiculous. Well, hard for me to do. It's hard for me to follow instructions. Especially without the instructions in front of me. I'll mix it with the camera though. that one done. Where did I put that? Where did I put that spoon? There you are. I worry that I may not have enough for it. 
but we'll see when it comes to that. Liquid has a way of finding where, where it needs to go. Plus, you know, this is going to cook down. The onions and carrots are going to cook down. Everything is going to cook down. I suppose I should actually, while this is going, get get into my wine. We have a lovely donation by my brother. This is a 2019 bottle of Folk and Fable. This is their Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a lovely little dry white wine ABV of 14.5%. I believe that'd make it a 28 proof. Which means it's almost impossible to get blinced on this stuff, but, you know, people will try. Oh lord, how do I do this? Okay, so... an actual come on now this is an actual corkscrew wine I should have probably just grabbed a cheap bottle of I should probably just grab a cheap bottle of red wine from work. Come on now, you little bastard. Okay. How do I do this? Okay, how do I do this? I've never I've never done wine before. What do you want from me? Where did I put that goddamn big knife? Okay, we're actually getting a nice little crust on this one. I knew I should have my brother open my wine for me. Like zero upper body strength. Here, let's get let's get this in. Hopefully this doesn't hurt the wine at all. Lovely little cork here. Give me a second. Sorry, I had to blow my nose and I didn't want that to be on camera. Well, on audio, I guess. So, but never try, never, never uh, cook with a wine you wouldn't drink. So let's give her a little taste. Let it breathe. Oh, that's awful. That's really awful. It's salty. Why is it salty? Ah, well, I guess it'll be good to cook with. I can also wave goodbye to any... I can also wave goodbye to any, uh... 
Bright Cellar sponsorship to I'm pretty sure Folk and Fable is one of their brands. Anyway, this looks pretty much done, so let's get this out, cook it down again, then we'll add our veggies. I'm trying as desperately as I can to make this a one-pot meal. Just occurred to me I don't think I deleted enough footage for this. I hope I have enough camera space. So let's see here, we want to, here, let's, um, while that's going, it's time to, uh, whoop, don't get that too close to the fire, well, the heat source. This is what Babish did, so this is what I'm doing. I don't know if Julia Child did this, it's supposed to help with the stuff. Develop the crust and thicken your sauce or whatever. However, instead of tossing with my hand, I'm just going to toss with the spoon. When did I stop watching Binging with Babish? When did Hogwarts Legacy come out? It was after he took money from Hogwarts Legacy. Which is a little sad. Well, like, to be honest, he, he, he was getting kind of boring, too, because, like, he stopped doing a lot of the things himself. You know, he started this whole bullshit about the Babish culinary universe. Like, he was, like, you know, you, you weren't even getting him anymore. You were getting a bunch of other different personalities. Which, that is kind of the problem with a lot of people these days. Like, you know, that's kind of why I don't like Mythical Kitchen as much anymore. I don't like the sport people. They're trying to make food journalists media personalities. That's not their job. They're writers. Don't make writers go in front of the camera. I'm only doing it because... I'm desperate for attention. Not really, I'm just, uh, I just did this on a lark one day and you guys liked me enough and I'm like, well, I gotta keep going. Gotta keep chasing that next milestone. Anyway, this is going in here for 10 minutes. J just to toast up. And then that's looking like it's ready for our next group. Um, ingredients, carrots. Yeah, I got carrot chips because I didn't want that to happen to cut them up. Like you saw how bad I was with onions and garlic, you wanted me to do carrots too? Granted, carrots are easier, but still, the point stands. Oop, shit, 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 my 
This is a bad idea. Why am I doing this? Now I know why Babish's counter gets so effing dirty all the time. I'm gonna have to sweep so much after this. You guys don't even know it's not even funny. Sample the goods. Yeah, that's good. And we're cooking these until soft. Finally, the sauce is like act the 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 stuff is actually becoming more like what it's supposed to be. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of juice rendering out of these. Now this is supposed to serve six, so I'm going to try to save some for my mom. Maybe my dad, he's coming down later this week. I mean, like, I'm not going to eat all this in front of you guys, definitely. For God's sakes, <laughs> you know, i got to pace myself a little bit. Now let's crush some garlic. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Guess what we're going to use for a tablespoon since I don't have a tablespoon measurement. That's right, we're going to be using an actual spoon. Because, like, if it's the spoon at the table, then it's a tablespoon, right? Or, or am I wrong? Am I right or am I wrong? Okay. Let's F and go. Oh, God damn it, there's so much goddamn onion on the floor. It's really hard to cook, guys. Okay. Stack up your wrist and... Heights! Heights! Oh my god, it worked! crushing garlic like a goddamn champ. This one's still, well, in its skins a bit. For those who don't know what I'm doing, um, Mythical Kitchen with Mythical Chef Josh, he'll do this silly thing where he uh, crushes garlic with a Palm Hill Strike, which is a... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Which is a, a, a 
a, mar a mixed martial arts move invented by a Swedish MMA fighter because he was in a tournament that forbid closed fists. Anyway. Call me on strike! Eh. All I will say, this isn't like getting it totally crushed like I need. Like, I need this to be, eh. Yeah. I'm going to rinse my hands. And we're going to get out a tool that I had and should have used back during the chicken episode. The, the chicken thing. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Here, let me, uh, let me get this all into a... I have a ramekin. It's longer than that goddamn timer. Still about three minutes. I love the taste of garlic, even raw. Now let's open up that can of tomato paste as well. Too. We want to get moved fast when we're uh, doing this. Hi, Miss Alexa. Ooh, sweet smelling, too. Okay, let's see, where's everything I need? Sage, thyme, bay leaves, tomato paste. They already salt and peppered the beef. We have the bacon. <laughs> it's actually starting to come together. My hopes, my dreams, uh, my fantasy. <laughs> Won't they say I am a genius? See how I transform this old, old rat into a most delightful hat. Hmm, my compliments are made to you on this, your most intriguing hat. But let me say to you a substitution. A bat in place of this old rat. No, 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 that will, 
won't do. This thing would never make a president when dead for much too long. Try something fresher, something pleasant. Try again, don't give up. All together, <laughs> that were all our tricks were making Christmas time. Okay, uh, 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 oh, it's, it's heavy. Okay, okay. Turn this down to 325. I think this is ready. I'm not going to put all the bacon in, just a, just a bit. That's too much. I splash, splish, splash, I was taking a bath. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? What's this? I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Oh my. What now? The children are asleep. And look, there's nothing underneath. No ghouls. No witches here to scare them all. Cozy. <laughs> Dreamland. Ah. Okay, we have successfully deglazed the pot. Man, that actually does smell really good, too. Like that. Okay. Now. It said beef bullion, and my mom was lovely enough to give me some bullion, but uh, three cups, I think it means stock. Well, yeah, stock. The sights, the sounds, they're everywhere and all around. I've never felt so good before. This place inside me has been filling up. I simply cannot get enough. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it for my own. I got to know. I got to know. What is this place that I have found? What is this? Oh, you know what? Um, that might be a little much. Let's just put in some more wine. Ugh. 
keep the cork a little out. Never felt this good before. This place inside me has been filling up. I simply cannot get enough. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it. Oh, I want it for my own. I've got to know. I've got to know. What is this place that I have found? What is this? Christmas Town? Hmm. All right. So here is where we're really going off the beaten path because I don't know if a baking pan is going to work. But we're going to try it. I'm going to see if I can get this concoction to cook down. Oh, I almost forgot the import the uh Good lord. Okay. So Ground sage, ground thyme, two, uh, yeah, we'll do three bay leaves, one, un, don, trois. And a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. Fuck it, we're doing the whole thing. Because this thing could use more body, probably, I don't know. I don't want to waste my, the can of tomato paste my mom gave me, okay? Damn, well that's good, that's like a... It's almost like a jelly, or jam. Hmm. Oh, where did I put that aluminum foil? Oh. Excuse me. That's, those bacon bits are really good. Anyway. It is in! <laughs> we made it! I did it! Alright. Y'all have a good one. This is Royce Miller. I'm Audi. I gotta clean up.